This is a tutorial for the Nikon D7000. You can find what model of camera you have at the front of your camera right here. So on this camera, you turn it on by this dial right here. A lot of your settings you're going to see up at the top. 200, 200 of a second for the shutter speed and an f-stop of 4.5 for your aperture. So you always want to make sure that you are in the manual mode. The user 1 and user 2 are preset modes that we already have set for our gyms. So go ahead and flip over to the manual mode. The first thing we always adjust is ISO. So to adjust ISO you press info. This screen's going to pop up. You're going to need to press and hold this button that says ISO and then you're going to roll the dial to the right or to the left. Remembering this, the lower the ISO, the more light you have. The higher the ISO, the less light you have. So once that's set, the next thing you're always going to adjust is your aperture or your f-stops. On this camera, you do that at the front, on this front dial, uh, rotating it to the right or to the left. Remember, the smaller number the f-stop is, the more open your aperture is. This particular lens goes all the way to an f-stop of 22 to 4. Once you have your ISO and your f-stop or your aperture set, the last thing you do is your shutter speed. If the display turns off, just press info again. To adjust your shutter speed, you're going to roll this dial to the right or to the left. Right here is your light meter for this camera. So depending on what you're doing with your shutter speed, we'll show you how, to, how overexposed or underexposed your photo is going to be. Remember the minus is underexposed and the plus is overexposed. Sometimes the lenses don't always match up with what your settings are. Right now this should be really overexposed because that was almost an entire second, 1.6 seconds. So make sure that you're not just looking at the light meter, that you actually take a picture and look at it and see what the exposure looks like.